I recently repaired the old B-Body's floor and installed Dynamat. Well, my 1966 Dodge Charger was rust-free until some mice moved in and built a nest behind the back, uh, behind the driver's seat, and the metal is quite rusty there now. It doesn't look too bad from above, but check this out. I shine the light from underneath, and suddenly all these little spots start showing up. So, I'm going to have to patch this. There's a chunk over here too. So all this metal is going to have to be patched. Here's an earlier look at that rusty spot before I wire brushed it. First step was to cut out the rusty metal. Then I made a paper template with a one half inch overlap all the way around the opening. Next I transferred the shape of the paper template to sheet metal. I used my bead roller to reproduce the original contours and added a half inch flange to the edges. I then spot welded the patch into place. Next I knocked down my bumpiest welds with an angle grinder. I sprayed the exposed metal with self etching primer, then replaced the body plugs. After patching the floor I prepared it for seam sealer and dynamat by thoroughly cleaning it. I had already deep cleaned this section of the floor, so I gave it one last wipe down with Windex. Earlier, I scraped out all the original seam sealer, which had gotten brittle and flaky with age. Here I'm replacing it with Eastwood brushable seam sealer. I think it's a good practice to test fit each piece of Dynamat before removing its backing paper. This stuff is very sticky. Once you start laying it down, it's difficult to reposition it. I find that the more I prepare the Dynamat by warming it, molding it, and trimming it, the easier it is to install.
That's one sheet of Dynamat down, three more to go. I'll speed up the rest of the Dynamat installation, but first I wanted to show you how I prepared each work area. You can see that I already scraped out the old seam sealer and vacuumed up the loose pieces, but the floor is still dirty. I start deep cleaning an area by scrubbing it with Goo Gone to remove the nastiest dirt. Wherever I encounter body plugs, I pop them out so that I can clean under them. I'll clean these guys. I also give the plugs a bath in my ultrasonic cleaner while I continue scrubbing the area. Goo Gone can leave a slick film, so I follow it up with simple green. Look at how much cleaner this section is. Now I can brush on some new seam sealer. The ultrasonic cleaner stopped buzzing, which means my body plugs are done. And here they are, looking like new again. As promised, I'll speed up the rest of this Dynamat installation, but I'll slow down some parts where I want to call out important points. Here I'm using an ice pick to locate the hole for the seatbelt bolt so that I can trim away the material around it.
I'm using the ice pick again to locate the four bolt holes for the front passenger seat. Then I'll trim away the extra material around them. On the driver's side, there's a wire harness for the center console lights. I needed to get it out of the way, so I started by removing the screw fastening the ground wire. Then I bent back the two pairs of tabs holding down the harness. I had assumed that the wire harness's hold down tabs were spot welded to the floor pan, but after scrubbing them clean, I saw that they each had one sheet metal screw attaching them. I temporarily removed the screws and hold down tabs to simplify the dynamat installation. This also allowed me to clean underneath the hold down tabs.
In addition to locating the four seat mounting holes on the driver's side, I also had to locate the three little screw holes for the wire harness hold down tabs and ground wire. I don't like to reinstall dirty parts, so while I had the hold down tabs and screws loose, I took the opportunity to inspect and clean them. For these parts, I just used double knot steel wool and a fine steel brush. One way that I like to clean a screw is to put half of the threads into the chuck of a drill, then run steel wool over the head while it's spinning. I temporarily placed the ground wire screw back in its hole, then reinstalled the hold down tabs. Next I cleaned the wire harness. First I deep cleaned the plastic connector using Goo Gone and an old toothbrush. Then I likewise cleaned the braided loom. I went over the harness a second time with simple green to remove the Goo Gone film. I then used compressed air to dry everything out.
Finally, I reinstalled the wire harness by folding over the two pairs of hold down tabs and reattaching the ground wire. Getting back to the Dynamat, I trimmed around all four driver seat mounting holes. Well, that about wraps up the Dynamat installation. In my next video, I'll install the carpet. Thanks for watching.